Odds are you've never heard of Castleman disease, but it's a disease as common as ALS. Here are some quick facts. Firstly, let's compare the mortality rate of Castleman disease over five years since diagnosis compared to those of other commonly diagnosed cancers. Here we have prostate cancer, which amounts to 1% mortality rate over five years. Breast cancer, 11%. Hodgkin lymphoma, 14%. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, 30%. And lastly, 35% of patients with multicentric Castleman disease die within five years of diagnosis. Why is this the case, and what can we do to solve this? Well, let's look into the why aspect first. Here is a Castleman disease lymph node. Most doctors will look at this lymph node and come up with a few ideas of what this patient has. Lymph nodes like this one are often diagnosed as Hodgkin lymphoma, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, lupus, or rheumatoid arthritis. But there is another disease that does not pop into your physician's head when he sees this type of lymph node. That disease is Castleman disease, and its features are very similar to the other diseases. Castleman disease is therefore hard to diagnose and easily misdiagnosed. This leads to high mortality rates in that not enough is known about Castleman disease due to the lack of research. I'm sure you've heard of ALS through the ice bucket challenge. There's a disease as common as ALS, but less well known, and that disease is Castleman disease. Looking at the graph, you would expect the darker bar to be ALS considering the greater amount of publicity surrounding this disease due to the immensely successful ice bucket challenge. However, the grim truth is that more people face Castleman disease, although the public awareness is not even a margin of that of ALS. Some of the most common symptoms include flu-like symptoms which cause patients to experience fatigue, fever, night sweats, and weight loss. Another prominent symptom is the enlargement of lymph nodes, which could be located in multiple regions if you have multicentral Castleman disease or concentrated in one region if you have unicentric Castleman disease. Some can also experience kidney and liver dysfunction. And in one common case, a Castleman disease patient can have 70 pounds of fluid removed from their body. One of the reasons Castleman disease is so deadly is because it is poorly understood, but with experts from around the globe and a community of patients fighting back, we can answer these questions and stomp out this disease. Castleman disease is extremely complex, and there are still so many unanswered questions. If you would like to know more about Castleman disease, visit www.cdcn.org. Now you can see why Castleman disease is the most deadly, most common disease you've never heard of.